Yo, how y'all doing? Uh, we're gathered here for today for uh, another go, this time in widescreen. <laughs> uh, I did this dude a little while ago, and he's remained in, in the sanctity of pencil for a while. Um, but I thought, as I couldn't be asked to actually draw anything new, that I'd just pen something in, pen it in for you, you know, it'd be a bit of a moment for us to share. And, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Give you a little, give you a wee zoom. Hmm. So I like to draw. I do like machines. You've seen me do a lot of machines. I don't know what he is. What's he? He's a little eyeball, eyeball drone. Little eyeball drone. Um, yeah, that square. Um, retina. Sorry, framing. Framing. Always a little idea. I think I came up with that for the band, most likely. Just for a little logo I was going to use, but. This was, um, what would you call it? Some monstrous, uh, manifestation of that logo. But he's got one of my favourite features. There's a thing on him which I adore drawing. And it's this little um this little shade, this little eyelid thing. You see him on uh, traffic lights and CCTV cameras and stuff. I just think it's a really satisfying shape. It's like he's got a little baseball cap on or something. And then we're actually looking at the edge of whatever piece of metal's been bent around here, so I'm going to give it a little edge. There we go. And then, of course, we're working downwards, top down. So we'll do the top layers first, so the shine on the eye, on the lens, I should say. Is uh, going in first. Got sort of a multiple shine on here. A bit over the top, but who cares? Important thing is we're isolating this piece of white, this the uh, that untouched piece of snow in the middle there. These are going to go in quite heavy roundness of which doesn't really matter so obviously we can see the other side as well but I'm going to do this a bit vaguer I think on the inside of the lens so it looks a bit off rivets if you want to be successful doing this you got to do some rivets baby rivets make anything look good oh, what's that on there <laughs> I'm filing cleaning some frets the other day. Obviously we're going to be able to see these poke out so they're actually going to come out from the from the uh, from the bodywork line there. I was just dicking about with uh, circles on this page. So we've got this uh, this sewer pipe. It's gone pretty well. That's a pretty good illusion of three. I don't know what I've done here though. What's this? Some sort of fountain pen. Go under his belly. I'll put some charcoal down there. I think I was just having a little dick about. These little cloud lines. Down here, these are going to go in first. Nice and wispy. Nice. What's this? What's this bit here? What have I done here? This little... It's got some sort of a... Some sort of a colon. Here. Oh yeah, I got it. 
Oh, that ain't bad actually, huh? See, some of these things have been here for ages. And we can just see the bottom of these spikes handy. And then we'll have the inside of the circle, it's one of my favourite bits. How's your focus there? Is that it? side of the circle. This is always such a satisfying way to achieve a 3D effect. I don't know why I like it so much. We'll do some vertical lines on there as well just to just to pull it out. And then man I can see it better on the camera. Oh that's disturbing. There's a few more rings on the inside. Does that look like it's going inside to you? Maybe just a few of these in the middle there. Alright. So I think we're doing some hoops coming out of here. You know, they're sort of going do 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 out from the back for some odd reason. Pull you back out again. That's more for my sake than yours. Cloud line there. You know what I could have done? We just got the got the compass out and done this, but it's cool, man. I'm gonna shade him in anyway, so the eye's gonna do the rest for us. But I am just gonna fatten this one out a bit. There'll be plenty of room for fattening in. He's gonna be chunky. That's better. That's better. <laughs> Look at his little mohawk air intake thing here. It's pretty sweet. Do you say so myself? How's it look today? I've sort of dicked about with the exposure and whatnot on the count on the camera. Oh, let's have some more rivets. I'm just addicted to rivets. There's a bit of a split in him here. I think that's pretty cool, to be fair. Yeah, and it's like a bit of a Death Star thing going on. But I picture him being about, you know, the size of a watermelon, maybe. But, you know, you can see him however you want. So there's this, uh, yeah. I've done an Eve online style set of windows things there. Oh, it disappears off around the back like that. Is that right? No, it doesn't matter. Classic. A way to achieve um, roundness in 3D. Just easy, easy. There's the inside. I'm going to divide these up into sections. We're going to have a big one. Big one, slightly smaller, slightly smaller. Oh, yeah, there you go. Now you got a good sense of girth, madam. If I'm talking a bit quietly, it's late. Well, over here, anyway. Oh, shall I leave these in pencil, some of these? That's not a bad shout. They look like a little window or something. Pretty rad. Okay.
Can you see the pencil all right? I bet you this is a trick they used to pull on the telly, actually. It's just overexposed the shit out of it. So you can't see the pencil that Neil Buchanan's drawing on. Hmm. Might just do his outline for now because obviously I've got to do I've got to do his retina. I've got to completely fill that in. I'm gonna want that black as sin. It's nice when that pencil goes on the so when that pen goes on the dark pencil there. And then obviously when I when I pen it up, I mean I could I what I could do is rub the pencil out first. But oh it's ever so close to that curve that is. I could rub the pencil out and then fill it in like fill it in after with a pen. Mm. Or we could decide that shit later. Oh no, look what we got here. It's not another set of rivets, is it? I just did this as an excuse. Just this, this whole picture was started. I could really do with some rivets, man. Just one more hit. So I'm filming this upside down. It's the only way my uh, <clears throat> it's the only way I can get the boom to film it widescreen and have the light source. I've just I've just spent all day jiggering about with it because I wanted you to have widescreen. I was sick of that. Um, sick of filming it sideways. My equipment was inadequate. I made it work. I made it work for y'all. This is some antenna thing. I might even join them up at the back. Not sure why we'll be able to see it from that angle, but whatever. Some things are just happy little accidents. So I've done some little glyphs on the side here. What's this, a pie? Definitely a pie there. Should we go super zoom? These are just nonsense things. Some of them might occur in some language somewhere. Well, that's a seven for a start. So. A little lambda or an A. Don't even know what's back here. Little Pac Man. And then there's some sort of a bigger number there. Kind of looks like a Q. So we'll change that. Some other little thing there. What I'm doing here is I'm putting faith in my in my past self. Dish, 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 dish. Oh cool, I'm gonna enjoy this part. <laughs> Framing. Source is just given. Just you, just bear with me one second. I'm back in the game. Things just be falling over in here. 
and this is hard right because we're going to have to meter these out in a curve for it to look good follow the circle and they're going to get longer as they go into the middle which is quite fun yeah nice brother well, he was never going to take long was he Ding. Okay, be right back. Right, so we got some. What do you reckon? What do you reckon, the old black there? All right. It was only because I get like major camera wobble when I start going at that. So I thought I'd use a bit of camera magic for you. What we got left then? We got this little grey over his thing. Super zoom. Focus. Boom. Lovely. What else we got? Oh, he's got a little bit of random circuitry going on here. Get the inside of the circle. Uh, yeah, some classic droidy light. Droidy sort of lines. You know, just some oddball circuitry looking stuff. Just total conjecture. conjecture. Rubbish. Tap. Hmm. Okay. I've oh, done some classic bullet holes on him here. There's one just hiding behind that cloud. They are fun. Let's do one here just for an example. Slightly upright. And then just with a sort of pointed, usually pointed at the top. Oh, can you see the face in that? The demented clown face. It's quite cool. I might put another one in there just to negate that. Right now he just looks like he's got a mole. Oh, you know. Trust me, pictures turn up in pictures all the damn time. See what I'm saying? <laughs> right, what we got left? Oh, yeah. Just going to do what might be construed. There's some windows across there. They're just tiny. They're, they're blips. I know I said that this was the size of a watermelon, but I like to just freak people out sometimes with a sense of scale like it's some colossal space arc nice so I think it's time to just heavy him in a bit now I'm going to do this a bit rougher now. I wouldn't even get a thicker pen out and do it. You know, just make him look a bit more rad. Stick a bit more black on there. And then, I think this bit under here would probably be in the dark and then I could maybe even do a few natural ones as well and then empty bag and then I'm gonna I'm gonna put a few more of these but only in the middle towards the centre just to give it a bit more texture and I'm gonna turn full 180 here because it's just easier to do these for me from right to left whether I choose to flip or rotate this video that is could be stage left
Yeah. Hmm. Pretty little critter, ain't he? Get another cloud off him. I like to think he's just broken out of a broken out of a mist or a cloud. Uh, I'm actually going to turn these into little hoop, hoop de doos now. So this is his, this is uh, is exhaust in some fashion. Hmm. All right. Let's bring a rubber over here for the ecological rubber user. Nice man. Because these rubbers, they're always running out way faster than the pencil. I want that pencil last, man. I want it to be a little stub. Oh, I went to get me, uh, me old 0.7, but it's fucking empty. Empty, mate. Gone. Forget it. Look at him from a few different angles. Check how the roundness is going. Sometimes it's something you're going to have to work out getting stuff round, which is why I'm leaving plenty of room for these lines to be thicker or thinner in any direction. Bring this uh, pen out of here, but I'm going to leave those clouds just for now. Leave the little clouds as pencil windows, pencils windows to the past, mate. Pencils to the past. <laughs> it's this bit I wanted to do as well. This little, whatever the fuck this is. It's going to need some rivets around it, I think, isn't it? I find an aggressive motion is effective. And just like I had, there she is. Oh, looking crisp, bloody hell. Oh, we missed a bit there. Hey, hey buddy, you missed a bit. Just a bit there. Hey, how long you been working that mop, dude? There we go. So now we're gonna go get our old, uh, our old friends out. Our little old friends. We're gonna add a little bit of shade to this bad guy. I'm just gonna add some vagaries in pen. The charcoal. Oh, hello. <clears throat> so let's try this out in an inconspicuous spot. See what we're getting out of it. Oh, she's pretty dark. This is scary shit. All right. Can y'all even see that? This is subtlety we're talking about. And then with the charcoal you can just blend it a little bit.
You might say, oh, why don't you just leave the pencil? Well, it's a process I'm enjoying, right? So I like to think that this side is, is, is dark on this side. That's all in shadow. And then there's a bigger shadow coming off the bottom of it. That's very dark in there. And it's dark around his back as well. We can even go in laterally now. Obviously, cross actually, you know, same principle works with this charcoal. We'll get the inside of that as well, why not? Always saw that as being a bit dark anyway. Like I say, it's an odd mixture, these two things together, but. They look too bad. And then this bit for sure. Almost completely black. And I might go in with the pen and just get those windows back in when I can. And now on the eye, I'm going to have the retina here be nice and dark, man. Nice and dark, man. How's that camera wobble? And this is also helping to separate where the lens is it's just poking over there. It's a bit bright, isn't it? The camera, I mean. Yeah. Let me see if I can fuck with that. How's that? I'm just going to see what the fuck I'm doing now. It's alright for the pen, that nice overexposed ness. But I can't really see what I'm doing with charcoal. And this will be our last bit, bro. You and me can go to Betty Buys. Actually, no. I'll probably procrastinate a little bit longer. So to finish you up, I do one of my favourite things. I don't know why I like the way this looks, but I'm just going to do a little bit of rust off the bottom of each rivet. In fact, I'm not even doing in the pen. Just one more big one up the middle, and then just a few around the edge. And these are going to have drooped around as well, to be fair. So we'll pull them around a bit and drooped around the old, old bodywork there. Oh, wow, I just like that. Just looks like he's corroded a bit, you know what I mean? And these would have definitely come down a little bit as well. It's hard to decide which way. Maybe they've done both. Maybe they've gone down both. And then the light source is kind of coming this way. So I'm going to shade them in. But just with a black, just with a heavier black line on the one side. And these ones would have it pretty bad. And sometimes, you just got to know when to stop, man. Good night, John boy.
All right, I swear, I'm done now. Have fun, y'all. Take care of each other.